Um, if you are, I, actually, you know what would be helpful for me to do? I'm just going to write this down. Now, there is a web address that you can all go to. I'm going to be showing a QR code on screen. But really, uh, if you are wanting to join in now, uh, There we go. Alistair.games slash play. That's all meant to be on one line. Alistair.games slash play. That's where you need to go to. That's where you'll be able to join in from. So, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be singing. This is a brand new part of the live stream. Um, something that I've not used in any of my um, live shows yet. Um, that I have made specially for you. It was soap opera season. And I thought, what better for the soap opera theme than to make a musical. That's right, a musical with you in the audience. So I'm going to move us over to the, uh, to the interface and I'm going to start some singing. Now what I'm going to be asking you to do is I'm going to be asking you to type into chat ideas of things for me to sing about. Uh, we're going to start off with a little 12 bar blues to get us warmed up. And if I move us over to the next scene, you'll start to see it in action. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, oh I need to switch off my button. All right, so we got a little bit of 12 bar blues going on. Who's ready to sing the blues? So, if you are live in the venue, scan that QR code right there. Scan that QR code, and it will take you to a screen where you can join in with this singing. What I'm going to need you to do is type into things that you want me to sing about. Type them into the box, and everything you type in, will uh, I will incorporate it into this little warm-up blues before we start the musical proper. Anyone who is watching on Twitch right now, hello Twitch viewers. Tell me if you see me. Say hi. Give me a little wave. And we're going to start doing some singing. So what I'd love you to do is if you could type in ad followed by something you'd like me to sing about. So for example, add potatoes. So I've just typed in add potatoes and you can see it's come up on the bottom of the screen now to say that I've added that in. And then that becomes a prompt that I can sing about during the song. So for example, I might start singing the blues about potatoes. Ah, I've got a problem with these really big potatoes. I planted them yesterday morning It was a sunny day So I thought they'd grow But potatoes don't sprout in the rain No, not at all I went to the doctor about my potatoes He said they weren't very good why the hell are you eating this kind of food? If you don't eat better, then you're gonna die, dude. All right, we've got some new things to sing about. I've got a problem with this plate of chips. They don't make me feel too hip. No, no, no. All the cool kids are vaping instead. And I've got to get on top of this coolness thread. I've got a problem, there's far too many lemons. I love them, I thought that it would be heaven to get more lemons than I could hold. But they're so heavy, they've broken my back, and I feel mighty old. All right, what's next? I've got a problem with these jumping jacks. Oh my God, cut me some slack. I can't exercise this much no more. Sorry, buddy, I can't do physical activity with you. I'm such a bore. on the planet Jupiter My love is stuck there and I miss her How can I send her a message about my love? 
maybe I'll send her an intergalactic dove. I've got a problem with my xylophone. Ding, 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 a ding, a ding, a ding, dong. But I can't seem to play in tune. It makes me angry, it makes me start to fume. All right, two more of these. I've got a problem, I'm covered in pimples. Oh, I tried to wash my face, you'd think it would be simple, but no, I can't get rid of all these spots. Oh, it's horrifying. I used to be so hot. All right, one more of these. I've got a problem with the added solution. I ain't got the constitution to figure out all of these difficult sums. I could try counting, but I can't get past my thumb. All right, now oh, let's have one more for luck, okay. What's next? What's next? Books. All right. Let's think about little books for a while because I have accidentally, I, I forgot to start on time with that one. So we're just going to chill and talk about books for a little while. Now, all of your additions are going to come up. Um, let me know in the chat. Um, and I can see you are you seem to be participating by the QR code, so that is great. I've got a problem with my lovely books. The ones from the library I took and haven't given back, even though it's time. Please don't tell me stealing books is a crime. Alright, so that's 12 Bar Blues. Hope you've enjoyed that. Now that was just a warm up. We are getting nice and warm. It is time for us to come up with a musical. All right, so get those imagination hats on. Start thinking, what do you want to see in a musical? Who do you want to see in a musical? Where do you want it to be? What do you want to happen in it? If you are in the chat, type in the word character to add a character to our musical. If you are in the chat, type the word scene followed by what you want to see in the scene to add maybe events or plot beats or maybe a location. Audience. If you are in Jupiter right now, if you are on the website for the QR code, then you will be able to see a little interface where you can add scene ideas and character ideas. So let's have these come in. Type in some character ideas and scene ideas right now, and we'll start the musical. It's a brand new day in here in Musical City, or maybe we're somewhere else. Where are we? Matt has added a potential scene, the graveyard at the end of time, a shark appears. Drama. That's good. I think you can't really have a musical without a little bit of drama. Have we had any characters yet? Let's find out. A blue triangle being added into the chat by uh, Matt. So let's see who's in our scene. Give you a little time to add a couple. Ah, uh, hell, why not? So, drama. Oh, no. And there we go. So. We're going to start off with a blue triangle. Actually, I wanted to get... This is a nice starting location for our musical. A blue triangle rises from the grave. Its little triangular hands reach out of the soil and gasp for air. <gasps> Pulls itself up. It's a zombie triangle. Zombie triangle. It's been dead for a thousand years, but now it's back. And back and ready to chase its dreams. I'm just a triangle chasing my dreams. Oh, I'm just a triangle chasing my dreams. And though my dreams might not be what they seem, I'm gonna catch my triangular future in my hands. I'm gonna catch my triangular future in my hands. 
Whatever comes my way, however I may fall, you always know that I am gonna land. That's right, because anything can happen to a triangle and it always gets back up. Even zombie triangles, they're beautiful. If they land on the pointy bit, they'll rotate over onto a flat bit. Wonderfully stable shapes. And that's all this blue triangle has ever known. A sense of stability. But now, it enters into this scary new world of the future. And it's a zombie now. It feels that things are falling apart all around me. But I just want to get out to that new world and see what's changed. I'm not scared, oh no, I am not afraid. Cause I am the pointier shape, I will leave your jaws agape. The most powerful shape you've ever seen. The sun rises on the graveyard. He looks behind him at his old home. All the gravestones behind him. He says, you know what? I'm ready. What do you have in store for me, future? Where could I be next? Maybe we'll find out. I am going to my favorite. Out. He's sweating. He's exhausted. And he collapses. 
collapses. Someone call an ambulance or something. Yoshi's fainted. Oh no. But who's that approaching in the distance? It's a blue triangle. Oh no. Someone is hurt. Is that a dinosaur? I remember them from my time. Come here, dinosaur. I'll nurse you back to health. Have a slice of medicine pie, or maybe a piece of medicine lime. You're a really mean boss, Mr. Red Square. You're a really mean boss. <laughs> this is quite hard to sing to this bit, this little bit. Maybe I should just let it jam. All right, here it comes. Red Square, we're gonna overthrow you. We don't like all the things that you do. Bossing us around, bossing around the dinosaurs in Hamburg. And when we stop you, when we'll make you not do that anymore. So, the zombie, blue zombie triangle starts leading up an uprising against the red squares that are the bosses in Hamburg and they all run away, they dive into the river and swim away. The city of Hamburg is free and everyone, everyone can go to play festival and have fun. Okay, so now it's time for us to do a little break whilst we think about what could happen next to these characters. I'm going to sing you a little blues for a little while. So feel free to add in new prompts. All you need to do is type in add, followed by the thing you want to see, or use the interface. We've got the first bit of blues. It's all about a dramatic accident. Maybe it's one that's just happened in the scene. Let's find out. One, two, three. Oh, yes. A dramatic accident. Coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yo, she had an accident sweeping up the fish. He fell upon the ground. That was not his wish. All he wanted to do was make some precious dough. Oh, a Yoshi on the riverbed drowning. Oh, no. All right, what's next? Yoshi had a problem, he'd gone right off his food. He heard about his mother's cooking that he knew was good, so good, yeah. Oh yes, but he didn't feel hungry no more. His stomach rumbling so bad, he felt very sore. He tried to eat those fish with some maple syrup. He tried to rig it ridden on by Mario with stirrups but no that didn't seem to work no way but fortunately for Yoda it was world past Day. A 
Everyone was sitting around eating lots of pasta. People were competing to see who could eat it faster. A giant dancing peanut seemed to do best. He got that pasta all down his favorite vest. While Luigi saw the poor hungry Yoshi sourly looking at a cheese toasty. Wow! You're so ungrateful! I made that toasty just for you! You think you're angry, Yoshi? Well, I'm angry too! That's the blues. Next scene in our musical. So we've got a lot going on. Yoshi is suffering mad hunger right now. Um, so maybe... Let's see who's in here. All right. Let's get the blue triangle in Yoshi. Oh, I like Malister. Let's find out. Okay, these are our characters for this one. In a library full of triangles Malister is there Watching the rain come down the windows He's a librarian But he doesn't like triangles Why are triangular books everywhere? No, he hates those triangular books with such a passion. He hates the fact that they become the new fashion. As literature goes, he hates triangular books the most. Malister is a malicious man oh yes the blue triangle comes into the library carrying Yoshi the hungry poor Yoshi who just wants to eat some lunch today Blue Triangle sits down and says, I've got this Yoshi here. Are there triangular medicine books that I can help to make it clear? How do I save this poorly dinosaur? The only crime he committed was the crime of wanting more. And a dog cat overheard this while collecting magic shrooms. Over in the mushroom collecting room, which they added to the library in 1975. It was a memorable year before you were alive, and Dog Cat said, In 
dog language that is the secret formula to dinosaur health maybe it's enough to revive poor Yoshi the blue triangle started to do compressions on the Yoshi's chest Maybe the Yoshi will be revived. But looking on with a heart so full of malice was Malister who said, Get out of my library palace. I do not like you triangular shapes. Get out of here, get out of my face. I'm a sad and bitter man. A bitter man. So sad, so sad. So, while Yoshi and the Blue Triangle... Oh, this sounds fun. Okay, I like these. All right, let's get lots of tomato jumpies. All right, let's get this. Uh, all right. Back in childhood, many years ago, Malister was in church. He was just a little boy back then, not quite so malicious. Didn't have hate in his heart at that point. But one day during mass, he started to sneeze. He was allergic to tomatoes. And it ha just so happened that the church was full of tomatoes. Tomatoes here, tomatoes there, tomatoes everywhere. He thought he'd got rid of all the tomatoes from his life, but no, they were coming out of the ground and attacking him. Zombie tomatoes. Zombie tomatoes from the salad that he'd thrown away yesterday were coming to get him in church, and he was allergic to them. And that's how he knew they were coming. Get back, zombie tomatoes. Stay away from me. I'll attack you with this knife. I will make you bleed. Zombie tomatoes, get away from me, please. Untangle my headphones which drop to my knees Stay away from me you zombie tomatoes Or I will tell on you to my mum the retired opera soprano Meanwhile up above a deadly rain started to fall it was the great flood as predicted in the bible <laughs> i'm a cloud i'm a crazy rain cloud and i'll make it wet for you cause the people of earth have been really bad and that makes God so incredibly mad. So I'm gonna drown planet Earth in a massive flood. So Malister and the zombie tomatoes ran into an ark he'd built yesterday after eating his salad. He realized the tomatoes weren't so bad after all As they sang him such a soothing ballad All they wanted to do was make him feel so calm and warm All they wanted to do was shelter him from the storm as the rain cloud overhead tried to see to it that they were all dead 
They sailed away to Bermuda. Malister and his tomatoes. Malister and his tomato friends. Together now until the very end. Malister and his tomatoes. Malister and his tomato friends sailing to Blue Bermuda until the very end of the world. All right. What else was happening at the time of this? Well, someone dropped their hooky in the cock. The hooky in the hot cocoa. Someone dropped their hooky cookie in the hot cocoa. So let's find out all about that. One, two, three. Malister riding on the yacht with tomato friends. Making hot drinks to make him feel happy. In the end, everything's gonna be fine, they say. Don't look the other way We're tomato friends And we made cocoa for you They gave Malister cocoa and cookies And he was like a Wookiee <laughs> Roaring with glee Roaring so happily <laughs> But oh my god what did those tomatoes see? Alistair dropped his cookie in the cocoa and it's got cookie bits in now. He's not happy, he is mad. He tried to milk all of the cows. Why did he do that? I think that is just a thing he does when he's angry. But don't worry, he's just mally. Meanwhile, two cows poked over the grass. As the flood waters rose up, there was not much land left to graze on. They'd rather be on Metroid Prime, eating all the phase on. Then there was a robot invasion. While those grassy Cows were out there grazing. Robots covering the sky. Oh my god, we gotta try to defeat them. Maybe we can eat them. The cookie monster got a new job today. He got a job where he can sashay. The cookie monster is a Male model He's going up in the world Doesn't have to live in a goddamn hovel on Sesame Street Cookie Monster's back on his feet Again That's right Me like cookie Me like fashion Me have got incredible passion Give me cushy Om nom nom. That's my song. What happens next? Cookie becomes alive. Ah. All right. One, two, three. Uh oh. Cookies were rising out of Mouster's mug. Friendly cookies trying to give him a hug. Well, isn't that nice? But off in the corner was a cookie monster And he did what a cookie monster order Eating up that cookie so friendly Fill him up his blue belly Skeletons out there drinking beer they see the cookie they fear roaming around the ark Whether it is light or dark Playing mini golf on the ark was fun 
shooting the golf balls with a gun cause we didn't have clubs. There were sad ducks on the river, they really started to shiver cause it got too cold for them. Too cold for my web feet friends. A fancy spider in a meeting, meeting the boss for the very first time. What can you do for this company, Mr. Spider? I'm really good on the internet. I spend a lot of time on the web. I've got a problem with constructivism. I think it creates a schism in the church. The monks don't like it. They feel hurt. I'll start things in helium voice. Is that bad? No. Honestly, I think it's quite nice. Listen to him sing with a very high pitch. He sounds like a magical, magical witch. Listen to Alistair breathing helium. You can hear it when he sings and when he hums. <laughs> of the musical. Oh, okay. We've got Epic Food Showdown. This isn't good. This is good. All right, what we got? Meanwhile, back in Hamburg, as the fish rains fall from the sky, the apocalypse, we've got floods and we've got fish raining from the sky. The world is ending, my friends. What's going to happen next? Anything could happen. Everyone emerges from their Hamburg houses and Hamburg workplaces, and they're ready to fight. Chris Pineapple comes up. Who's Chris Pineapple? Chris is, someone called Chris with a pineapple. He's a fruit seller and a dumb wizard very, very dumb wizard, casting very stupid spells. They're there, casting fruit-themed spells, casting tomato spells. <gasps> That's what caused the tomatoes come to life. It was the wizard jewels in Hamburg. I'm going to cast a magical salad spell. All my zombie tomatoes will send you to hell. And I'm going to throw pineapples at you. Yes, I do. Look at you getting pineapple in the face. Your eyes are covered in pineapple rings. The pineapple juice really starts to sting. Now get out of this place. Zombie triangles rose from the ground. And they joined in the epic food showdown. Hundreds of triangles getting pineapples stuck on top of their pointy ends. Friends became enemies, and enemies became friends, as the dumb wizard cast a spell to blow up Jupiter. Oh my god, they said. Look at her. What's she doing? She's blowing up our games festival! Uh, I can't think of anything that rhymes with festival! But there was one character to stop the fight. 
the drunk green triangle had the green light to enter the battle with his drunken tongue. He ducked and he dodged and he swirled all around and vomited a little on the ground and did a flying kick into the wizard. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wizard is slain. Hamburg is peaceful again. But what's going to happen now after the smoke has cleared? Over the cityscape of Hamburg. Dust and rubble and chaos have appeared. Can you help us? Can you rebuild this world with pineapple skins? Triangles, can you help us? And they stuck together to form squares and attach themselves to buildings and stuff. That was really good. If you are just joining us now, scan the QR code next to me. There we go, there it is. Scan the QR code to suggest things for me to sing about. All right, I think we're going to return to the Bermuda Triangle. I think we're going to have... It's going to be a Malister scene, because I like that character. All right, what's going to happen in this scene? said Malister. I must go. I mustn't embarrass her. But I want to spend much more time with her and see what she's gonna sing next. What kind of sound she could sing What a young like man like me Can expect from a beautiful opera soprano I'm just a cat, you see. I'm just the, the cat belonging to the beautiful soprano, whose name is, um, uh, is, is Brittany. And uh, I, I, I really, I, I don't know why we're on this island in Bermuda. I quite liked it uh, back, uh, back in shore in, 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 in Hamburg, but we, but we sailed all, all the way here and I don't really like it so much. However, as a cat, I don't really have many options, so, so I have to make the best of it, really, don't I? 
but that's okay because I've got my best friend here with me. My best friend Brittany. She sings so beautiful. When she sings her songs, it makes my heart feel full. And I've got her all to myself. That is really good for me. Just me and Brittany. Not us, just us two, not three. No one better break up this couple. Me and Brittany. Cause if they do, I'll be annoyed. And she might hit me. Or the other way round. I'm quite malicious. <gasps> So, okay, so a lot going on. A potential love triangle starting to appear in the story now. Because the cat does not want Malister to take her owner, the beautiful, beautiful soprano Brittany, away from her. What could happen next? We'll find out. And the next bit of this rainy apocalypse. But first, I've got your problems to sing about. I've got a problem with a big squirrel Which I found on the Wirral Just north of Lancaster on the M5 The squirrel kicked me so hard I fell into a beehive I've got a problem with invisible top hats I keep giving them a little bash when I walk through very low doorways. Oh no, they knock off my hat and that deserves some praise. I had a problem while waiting for the bus. Someone on his phone was making such a fuss When I was just trying to relax before school Oh, I hate that bus guy, he's such a fool I've got a problem with three-sided shapes They are the things that I really, really hate Oh my god, I just want to rip them up. Oh, but I just can't grab them. I, I, oh, I don't have the luck. I've got a problem with my very bare feet. They're the worst things that I have ever experienced as I go for a walk. Yes, it's really hard cause the ground's full of rocks. All right, that's starting in a weird place, but anyway. Problems with the shoes that are on my feet. Problems with my shoes. Ah, I can't complete the song. <laughs> Help. I'm really struggling with this one, even though I got so excited about having bare feet that I was like, all right, let's carry on. <laughs> I've got a problem with tomato goats. Are they guests? Are they hosts? Oh my god, they're haunting my salad factory. <laughs> oh, go away, tomato ghosts. <laughs> Please stop haunting me. I've got a problem with these busted sparklers. They don't seem to light up. And that makes me so very sad. I'm gonna ask my money back. I'm so mad. I've got a problem where I stepped on a Lego. Oh my 
my god, my foot's so sore. I don't think I can walk on it no more. Oh, get some other things like marbles and put them on the floor. <laughs> I've got a problem that I only can only stare. Don't look anywhere else as you will succumb to my hypnosis. But it's not all bad. I'll use it to cure your neurosis. See, when I'm only staring at the camera, it makes it very hard to look at the prompts that are coming up on the bottom of my screen. This is the best performance you've ever seen. All right, one more. Moi, j'ai un problème très, très gros. C'est que j'ai oublié quelque chose. J'ai oublié comment parler en anglais. Oh non, c'est, c'est trop un trop problème. Oui, oui. Le problème commence aujourd'hui. J'aimerais parler avec une chienne qui s'appelle Jérémy. Mais Jérémy n'aime pas le pain, donc euh, c'est malheureux. All right, one more. I've got a problem. Everything's too quiet. Oh no, I, I think I might riot. I'd rather, like, be able to hear stuff. Oh no. I, oh God, the f- music's fading out. Everything is going kind of slow. All right, I see we've got 10 minutes left on the clock. So we need, all right, let's have an evil twin appear. Nina Kalinkoff, I don't know who that is. All right. All right, I want Malister in this. Let's have Nina, okay, Malister and Nina. Is it that odd Nina, maybe? Okay, let's find out. Okay. Meanwhile, on the island. Nina Kalinkoff sailed onto shore. She'd built an ark as well. And she'd sailed over the seven seas in this time of apocalypse and found on the desert island in Bermuda, Malister and a soprano, the retired opera soprano, falling in love. But she recognized that face, Malister. It was someone she'd met before, someone she'd met in Hamburg one year ago. Wasn't he the guy with the beret and he like painted and made the stuff that cried out of its eyes? Was that him? Was he that guy? There's only one way to find out. She summoned him using her magic powers. She summoned Alistair, the evil twin of Malister and had them do battle on the island in Bermuda, fighting for the love and affections of the retired opera soprano. I am your evil clone. You can't take me on alone. I will defeat you right here in Bermuda. I am your evil clone. You cannot take me on alone. Prosciutto, (laughs) come and fight me if you think you're so strong. Take me on by singing a song. Whoever sings best will live. Whoever sings worst will die. And that will be the end of this feud between you and I. That's right. Sing with me, Alistair. Sing. 
Me, 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 me. You, 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 you. Ha, 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 ha. Singing a song to defeat you, Malister. I'm the original, Alistair. I won't be defeated by an evil clone. You can't throw me from my Alistair throne. Well, if you think you can beat me, then you're wrong. Cause I'll come up with a better song. My name is Malister. Yes, it's true. I'm a superior version of Alistair to you. And one more thing, I'm a robot. I've come here from the future to destroy. All of planet Earth is my property. All of planet Earth is my toy. I summoned these rains to destroy you. I summoned all of these raining fish. I wanted to end humanity. That was my final wish. Well, there's only one thing for it, Nina. We have to defeat this fake Alistair, this fake robot Alistair, and save the world. Then and only then we'll be safe from its maniacal floods. Only then will we be free. Fighting in a robot version of yourself. Fighting the robot version of yourself isn't too hard. All you gotta do is do some training. Eat well, don't eat all that lard. Lifting weights, punching bags, singing songs, stealing swag. Everyone can do it, train with me. And we will take on humanity. You can't defeat me. I am Robot Alistair. Look at my robot powers. Fall victim to my robot stare. And with the powerful robot stare, pew, 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 laser beams fired across the island of Bermuda, blowing everything up. Nina got blown up. The original Alistair got blown up. Even the Soprano got blown up. And all the fruits and triangles got blown up as well. Everything split into shards, triangular shards, flying through the air. The apocalypse was complete. And Malister had destroyed all of humanity. The world had ended. And I think we have time for one more song. So let's go straight on to the finale. Oh no, this is good finale. All right. All right, everyone's here. Everyone's here. Everyone's here. Let's, uh, I just wanna, oh, I like these, okay. The voice of God came from up above. Sending planet Earth all of his godly love. The only way to defeat that evil robot Is to feed it lots of food and lots of donuts Grab all the donuts you can And feed it to its robot hands They will put it in its mouth And it will start to go down south Down to Antarctica for some reason Cause it's just got that feeling And the ghosts of Nina rose up from the ground The dumb wizard also appeared in spirit form Austin Powers too And Alistair the friend of me and you All came with robot diamond donuts for the robot Trying to defeat him but somehow they could not unseat him. I am Robot Alistair and I have taken over the world. You cannot stop me now, now that my plans unfurled. 
You cannot fight me with these donuts. They make me stronger, can't you see it? Um, 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 no! You cannot stop me! No! Down to the bowels of the earth I go, pulled by suction or gravity. The voice of God boomed from up above. We've done it! We've defeated the evil Alistair. The world is saved. But who will rebuild? Who will rebuild the planet Earth that we have destroyed, that we have flooded and filled with fish? The smoke cleared, there was no one left, not even an evil Alistair or a dumb wizard, but what's that rising from the sea, someone very familiar to me, Ballister. It's me in my most powerful form, he rose up and said, I will repopulate the earth, the place of my birth. So he set to starting the next generation of the planet with his girlfriend, Janet. Hello, Janet, if you're watching. All right. Okay, let's, it's a finale, the final song. I'm not gonna do any more skips because we are gonna finish exactly on the six minute, six foot mark. Walking through the street, the rubble, all the dead fish around him. He has the entire city of Hamburg to himself and his beautiful girlfriend, Janet. It's Ballister and he's going to recreate planet Earth and he's gonna start by remaking all of these great video games here at play, all of these games about soap operas and dating and painting and waiting and wizards. I'm gonna play all the games at play festival, he said. I'm gonna play all the games even though humanity's dead. There is my brother, my brother, my brother and me. All these Alistair brothers appeared mysteriously. And so Alistair and his brother started rebuilding Play Festival, recreating the games as best as they knew how. All of the things that they really liked in the different games that they played at the Play Festival, they tried to recreate in their own special way. And it was magical. They created one kind of super video game. And in that video game, there were people living and enjoying their lives, all these virtual AI people they created. And it was beautiful. It was like they'd created a whole new planet Earth inside the computer. We created a brand new planet Earth. A beautiful virtual planet Earth. The people in the computer environment do not know how much they are worth. We did it. We lost one world, but we recreated a new one inside the computer. And that sparks hope for us all. And we, as, as we leave the theater tonight and we look into our old world, own world with the, like, the pollution and stuff that's going on, and, and we know that we're all going to die from climate change, maybe video games Video games, video games are the future. Video games, video games, video games are the future. We can live inside a virtual utopia. 
And we can find a new way to live Living in our digital utopia We can find a new way to live We have got so much to live So come with me to the future now There we go. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for coming along. That's been fantastic. I am checking to see the chat um, if, if they want to kick me off. Because basically, I uh, I don't I can't remember what's on the schedule after me. I don't know if it's uh, like sharp 7 o'clock. I need to be offline. And I don't want to stop the broadcast before, uh, <laughs> before uh, the Play Festival staff are ready to switch it on again. So uh, I am just going to keep an eye on chat um, if there is someone from Play Festival who wants to message me and tell me what I should do at this point, feel free. Um, not seeing anything in the backstage chat, so, but I'm getting, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Matt. Really glad you enjoyed it. Um, I'll just do a little spiel about who I am and what I do. My name is Alistair. I do interactive uh, stage shows, interactive paintings, interactive poetry, interactive... Um, I do games where you throw inflatables around a room and people run around dressed as Power Rangers with tablets on their bellies and you play a game by pressing the tablets on their bellies. Um, if you want to find out more about me, scan that QR code. Down at the bottom of the screen, there'll be links to things like portfolio and stuff like that, so you can see what I make. Or go to twitch.tv slash aghson um, to see more of my live streams and watch me testing out new material and things like that. I also do a lot of hacking around with classic Sonic the Hedgehog games, kind of writing in new bugs and glitches and things. Um, all right, so I am getting the okay to say it is ready for us to tune out. So... Thank you so much, Play Festival, for having me. Thank you, everyone in the chat who's joined in, everyone who has submitted ideas. I hope if you submitted a scene or a character or a prompt for me to sing about that, uh, that you were well satisfied with what it got turned into. Thank you so much. I think you have shaped a beautiful, beautiful scenario, and I think we've created a fantastic musical. All right. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the evening. Enjoy the rest of the show. I think we've got um, uh, Rahel and, uh, and Matt coming up soon. So keep an eye out. Stay here on the Old Nina channel. Stay here in Jupiter. Enjoy the rest of the games. Have yourselves a great night. And I'm tuning out now. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.